This is the Daily Market Comment by Rafi Boyajian. I'm Maria Pashurdis. Thanks for joining us at XM.com. The first high-level talks between Russian and Ukrainian diplomats are due to take place later today, spurring some optimism in hard-trodden markets. The foreign ministers of Russia and Ukraine are meeting in Turkey, and there is some sign of progress, with both sides appearing to have toned down some of their demands ahead of the negotiations. Recent language from the Kremlin suggests Russia is no longer intent on a regime change in Kiev, while Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky has hinted he is open to keeping the country out of NATO. For investors, the talks have been the first encouraging development during this crisis, and the hopes of a ceasefire triggered a short squeeze in oversold equity markets on Wednesday, propelling stocks higher. European shares in particular stormed higher, with Germany's DAX index closing almost 8% higher. On Wall Street, the Nasdaq Composite led the gains, rallying by 3.6%. Aside from the Russia-Ukraine talks, investors will also be watching the European Central Bank's policy decision at 12.45 GMT, as well as the latest CPI release in the United States at 13.30 GMT. The war in Ukraine has greatly exacerbated the inflationary spiral, as commodity prices have shot up across the board. Analysts are expecting America's consumer price index to have hit 7.9% year-on-year in February. The ECB might delay an exit from its long-running asset purchase program, as the Eurozone economy is predicted to become a significant casualty of the conflict following the imposition of harsh sanctions against Russia. But with inflation in the euro area also surging sharply in recent months, a hawkish surprise is possible. The euro bounced back sharply yesterday as risk appetite returned, climbing back above $1.10. The dollar, meanwhile, took a tumble along with other safe havens. Gold has fallen back below the $2,000 per ounce level as the easing risk aversion has given way to some profit-taking. But the biggest surprise yesterday was probably the massive drop in crude oil prices, which slumped by more than 12% after the United Arab Emirates indicated it supports increasing output to ease the shortages following the restrictions on Russian exports. Unexpected demands by Russia in the negotiations for renewing the Iran nuclear deal, which are endangering an agreement from being reached, may also be lifting oil prices today. This is today's Daily Market Comment. Thanks for joining us at XM.com.